Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mika Apoptosis. This is Ray Solution, the solution for your gaming needs. And I am six, 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 excited, excited to um, play this game once more. Which part am I at? I can't tell. Five minutes? Okay, this is the file. Sorry. Sorry about that. Shannon, Teresa, door is locked. Oh, Shannon's door is open. Oh, gold! This isn't real gold, is it? Oh, wait, that's the wrong voice for me. This isn't real gold, is it? Is it? A mix of male and female clothing. Oh, what was that? What is that? Okay, whatever. When the seagulls cry. Are you dead? I'm just gonna sleep in Shannon's bed to get, you know, that scent. That beautiful, beautiful scent. Sylvia, the door is locked. The door is locked, Janelle. So, someday, well, someday, I'll become a Famous scientist. Well, I guess after our civilization is restored. Okie dokie, though. Oopsie daisy. No, 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 no. I'm talking, done talking to you, flower. Flower. Alright, what's down here? More rooms? Hello. These are the guest rooms. Okay. Guest room three. Entry. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be looking for. Is there something in here? Big enough for a person to hide? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's that type of game. Oh, no. Please, no. Okay. That one didn't say anything over here. It's locked. I mean, it's locked. I gotta do that cool person because that's what type of Lenin, well, that's what type of person Lenin is. What is this? It's a basket. One of Fleur's flowers called Rose. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything about that. I see. That's fine. Alrighty then. Making some smooth progress and finding nothing I see. Amazing, right, I say? Alright then. So, if there's nothing here, then what am I supposed to be doing? I am really in a tough spot. Good day, Miss Lenin. I heard from Miss Janelle that you don't like me or Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we already been through that. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know about the murderous in, um, intent. I'm just gonna take a looky quick see here. Nothing here, right? Alright. Looking around. What's in here again? Wait. Are these more. Oh, there's are more rooms. Frank? Cannon? Cannon? Are you in here? Oh, more gold. Wait, why do you guys have, like, the exact same room? Oh, Ray! Ray! Oh, Ray! What's in your room? Books! Wait, what did I say? A little black-haired girl by Castor Salvador. A reform for the church third edition by Salvador. So, there is, like, anything in here? Anything that I need? Gabriel's room. I am awesome! That's the guy from the kitchen, isn't it? I like that guy. Day 348. I like donuts. Oh, man. This day. So you want to be com comic relief. Alright. Alright, donuts! Huh? Oh, I didn't even read whose room it was. Oh, there's a person here. Hold on. Your name is Rainer. 
Alrighty then. Hey, wait, that's the food bowl, isn't it? Oh, -ho. hello, Mr. Lemmean. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Did you steal that food bowl from the kitchen again? Um, well then, I gotta go. See you later. What? What? Rainer, there's a bowl of food on your table. There's tooth marks on the plastic mango. I thought I told you many times that plastic food are not for consumption. When if you do not get out of bed right this instant, I'm going to throw you out of the castle. And the next time I see you, you are going to be a skeleton. Okay, okay, fine, I forgot. But everyone makes mistakes. It is human to err, uh, and gracious to forgive. For the sake of goodness, Rainer. That's why I keep you away from small objects. Promise me not not to let Clarissa know. Flower would laugh at me forever. Surely she can't laugh at you forever. She'll forget about it eventually. Mr. Lenin. Okay, okay, fine, I'll forget about it. If you carry the bowl back to the dining hall like a good boy. Many thanks, Mr. Lenin. Hugs and kisses. Ciao. Wait, you forgot the bowl. Whoopsies, my bad. Now chow for real. Okay, okay, okay. How can that guy never cease to amaze me? I don't know. You not peek? Uh, well, since, uh, since you still the football, I deserve this. First page. Lenin, I know you are peeking, so get out of my room. Okay. That's it? Alright. I accomplished one thing. In this episode, at least. No need to save? Okay, I'll save. <laughs> no need to save, but I'll save. Just in case. What room is this one? Oh, this is the kitchen. Alright. Hello there. Hi, Lenin. I've owned up to my wrongdoings. Somehow, I doubt. Lenin, Rainer said you took the fruit bowl and tried to eat it. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Wait a minute. He said what? You do know what it, that it's wrong to steal fruit bowls, right? I know you're the prince's right hand man and all, but that doesn't excuse you. Wait, Rainer was the one who. And then you have the audacity to come back here with the innocent looking face as if you'd have done nothing wrong. I don't get paid enough for this. Ah, oh, Lenin. Hmm, the princess should be getting up around this time. I should go back to my room in case she needs me for anything. Where's your room again, Lenin? It's where we first began, right? Oh, man. It's over here, right? This is my room. Do I just stay here? I don't like this clock. The clock ticks on. What are these book stuff? I dropped this. How careless. Tiring days, spent it all running errands from the town which my parents were here. I met a strange girl on the way home. She was the only kid even younger than me. Her hair was bright as bright red. Why was she at the bad town so late at night alone? She must have bad parents. She reminds me a bit of my younger self before I lost my parents suddenly. I didn't even notice that book on the ground. Um, excuse me. Are you okay? Where are your parents? Are you lost? I can bring you to the constable's office. It's just down the street. But I'm not sure if it's still open. No need. Is your father coming then? Don't know. Probably not. Father has no idea where I am. That's bad, don't you? Do you want to get go to the constable's office? They should be able to send a message to your father so that he can pick you up. I said I won't. If all I can do is wait for father to come. And what's the point? Father's already very tired. I don't want to have to make things hard for him. 
I'll definitely find my own way home. Fine then, let me help you out. You are free to say no, of course, but if you just stay here and sulk, things aren't going to get any easier for you or your father. Don't be too hard on yourself. There are some things which are difficult to do, but so what? It's okay to ask for help once in a while, yes? Please help me, Misty. I want to go home. That's it. So where are you headed? My father, my brother, and I stay in a large house near the Salvador private library. Now, most of the time, my brother is the only one at home, because my father has a lot of things to do and I always come along. And sometimes he'll teach me a lot of fun things. My brother is a nice person too. I always try to help out wherever I can. And okay, so you're headed to the Salvador private library. Is it the one that used to be the Rothwell Mansion a few years ago? I think so. I don't really know. That's quite far away. You won't be able to find it on this town map. How did you even get here? Yeah? Mister, I'm not telling you. It's really none of your business. You know that's hardly the tone of voice you use when you're asking someone for help. <laughs> so fine, I won't pry. I know how to get there, but it should be a two-hour walk or more. That sounds difficult. Okay, teach me how to go there, mister. I'll go back by myself. Are you kidding me? You'll get robbed, or even worse, killed. This place isn't that safe. There might even be wolves in the forest on the way. I don't like people. The wolves are fine, I suppose. Oh, wolves are fine because they can eat you and bite you and turn you into one of them. You're crazy. Are you sure you don't want to get your father to send a carriage over or something? I said I can go alone. There's no talking you out of it, is there? Fine, I'll come with you. But won't your parents be worried if you don't go home soon? I don't have parents to be worried about me. It's fine. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I can't imagine not having parents. What do you live for then? If you don't have parents, you must be so sad. I'm sorry. Oh, are you a psalm? What are you talking about? I think if you live solely for your parents alone, that's what sounds pretty sad to me. Come on, let's go. We don't have much time. Thank you, mister. Why do you keep calling me that? I'm not even that old. But I'm younger than you, mister. By above about five years, I think. Anyway, my name is Lenin, not mister. What's yours? Yuki. Nice to meet you, Yuki. Oh, dear. Come on, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. Okay. See, I told you this would have been too much for you. Why didn't you just wait for your dad? I can't. Hey, are you okay? Well, stop and rest for a while, alright? Okay. And here you go. The library should be a bit after this town square. I recognize this place now. Thanks, Lenine. You're welcome. You look a lot happier now. Are you feeling better? Yes. So, are you sure you don't need to walk you through the front door? There's no need. You have already done a lot for me. And besides, I want to show the father that I can do it by myself. Well, technically, you didn't. Okay, okay. Well, this is where we fight. Then don't fall on the floor behind you. I won't. I need that out. Take care, your face. Um, what is it? Don't tell me you forgot the way home. No, it's not that. It's just, will I be able to meet you again? Well, I don't know. I do live pretty far away, but you haven't realized. I guess that's too much to ask for, isn't it? Of course I can meet you again, silly. I got this down there. I see. All right, then. Sorry for making you come this way. Good night, Lenin. Good night, Yuffie. And the cutscene. At the cutscene, I've got them freaking right. That was a few years ago. What am I talking about? If only she was in the school. Hold on. I got time. I got time. I can't get the door because I'm out of time. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I'm stupid. I get it. TikTok. TikTok. I know, I'm, I'm out of time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mika Apoptosis. I'm sorry for rushing a bit earlier. I mean, at the end there. But yeah, I'm actually out of time. So yeah, but the story is continuing on. We find out the relationship between Yuffie, which we now know who the, who a red haired girl is. But I'm pretty sure the other person is different. Okay, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of Mika Apoptosis. This has been Race Evolution. I'll see you guys later!